With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. A charge Q is placed at each of opposite corner of a square. A charge small Q is placed at each corner of each other two corner. If the net electric force on capital Q is zero, then you have to find out the Q by Q ratio. So if you see the diagram, so let's suppose these are the four charges and uh, this is capital Q and this is small Q and this is capital Q and this is small Q, right? Each opposite corner, right? So this, these are the opposite corner, right? okay so if you see here it is said in the question that net electric force on the q capital q charge is zero so if you see the net electric force on the capital charge so let's take any of the charge okay. let's suppose i took this one so because of this capital q it would be acted by a force k q square and let's suppose this distance is a that distance this distance will be a root 2 right okay so i will write kq square by r square so a root 2 whole square so this will be the force on this capital q because of this charge right now because of this small q charge the this capital q will be acted by a force in this direction so let's suppose i took it f1 and this will be f2 and that will be equals to k q q by a square right this distance is again a and if you see this force that is f3 this will be same k q q by a square right now if you see the resultant of f2 and f3 will be in the direction of f1 vector right so if i say this is f2 vector and this is f3 vector and this is f1 vector then if i take the resultant plus f3 vector will be in the direction of f1 vector right so the resultant you can calculate if you see this is the f3 vector and this is the f2 vector and it is equals to this right okay so if you see the resultant here is this and if i say this is fr the resultant of f2 and f3 it will be you can calculate this from pythagoras if you see this is 45 degree and this is again 45 degree right so if you will calculate from the pythagoras you will get the resultant k q q a square root 2 it's very simple now the fr vector and f1 vector are parallel to each other right fr vector and f1 vector are parallel to each other so you can just add the two directly so i will write f1 plus f2 plus f3 right so we know that f2 plus f3 are fr vector so i will write fr vector plus f1 vector if you see this is the f1 vector and this is parallel to fr vector so i will add the two directly and since they are two parallel vectors so i will write the magnitude of them as k root 2 plus so if you see this is f1 that is k q square by 2a square right so i will add is equals to 0 very simple 
okay so you can cancel out this q q and k and k right and this a square will also be cancelled right so if i'll write here q is equals to you can see it will be 2 root 2 q right and if you see in the question what we wanted q by q ratio so you can see already this is a negative sign here so if you take the ratio we will get 2 root 2 with a negative sign as the answer right so if you see you can choose the correct option a is the correct option thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today